Guys, in today's video, I'm going to try and show to you, prove to you, I'm going to stitch three or four days together and prove to you that it's not the rain that determines the health of the estuary mouth, it's the ocean. That's it. Watch the video. And that's the gully on low tide where the boats launch at the moment. You can see there's a lot of deep water there. And in the mouth of the gully, there's literally no waves. This is why Wiseman choose this gully to launch the boats. Now let's turn 180 degrees and we look at the estuary mouth. I'm not going to walk, I'm just going to turn around. Go I'll pan slowly. People get upset when I pan a lot, quickly. So let's pan slowly. Like the professionals, they tell me that I'm not a professional. Let's do it slowly like the professionals. Slowly, Pietro, slowly. Slowly. There's the history mount right here. There's the sandbank. See, that's the sandbank over there. Too shallow for boats to cross over. See, very narrow. So you have to run a long way parallel to the surf if your boat's draft is shallow enough you have to run parallel to that surf and hope you get a gap and that's why that launching between two sandbanks like this is called suicide alley and uh, Wiseman doesn't want the, the people to launch in a suicide alley I call it the corridor but um, it's more dangerous than just a corridor okay let's go and have a look at the history math uh, at the history itself this is now the sandbank towards the peninsula sandbank it's all new sediment that washed out I don't know how I'm gonna stitch these videos together uh, maybe make one H3 current condition video with the day separating each other we'll have to wait and see still thinking about it and this is what happened with Cobb Bay there's the start of the dune Cobb Bay started right there on the left hand side of the screen and it's silted up completely look at this and this is our little peninsula island that's supposed to stop the sediment from washing into the ocean but it's just getting bigger and, oh, into the estuary and it's just getting bigger and bigger into the estuary <laughs> look how the sediment washed onto the mud banks And on spring tide, light tide there's zero marine water retention, yeah? I don't even think there's marine water coming in, yeah? There's a pod of hippos lying up. Do we have any flamingos? I don't even see crocodiles. So look, look if we see any Yes, we have flamingos. There's the Sanduzi and Pelosi Beach Channel. Let's see what little birds are sitting up on the side there. White faced ducks. Afrikaans nonikis in there. I'm going to 
pan right or left show you how much sand has washed in I'm on wide angle now I just want to show you how close was we could never cast with the rod um, it was too far to get with a six or eight foot rod into that channel now it's easy it's right here at our feet look See how the estuary, although there's a sandbar building in from north to south, they are quickly at pivots to the north. Right over there, we can see it. View towards the ski boat club. There's our little sandbank peninsula. There's the Infolosi. I'm Sunduzi Beach Channel. This is the man made wall that was built by the Global Environmental Fund. That's the estuary mouth exiting into the ocean over there. And we know that the ocean was right up to this dune, to the foot of this dune. So from where the tire tracks is all the way the estuary used to be water that's the amount of sediment that was built up from the north into the estuary mouth good morning good morning good morning yes it's Petrus Vivius with your morning beach walk video some beautiful watercolors uh, here in the estuary mouth some nice color lines I uh, brought my fishing rod but hey the fitness level guys the fitness level I just can't keep up with um, the videoing the time spent on the beach and the fishing it doesn't doesn't gel well with the old aching body There's my rod in my bag, my lures, with a quick snap on to change lures quickly to try and figure out what condition, what lure is best for. But the bag of bones don't want to cooperate. Today I'm going to try this Strike Pro in that color line there with this bump fluff. Let's see what I get. Okay, let's go. beautiful sighting right here from the beach 23 years now that's two maybe three generations of children that has been protein deprived because St. Lucia became a greater St. Lucia wetland park became a world heritage site and the powers to be felt that it is the right thing to do to kill off the marine the functioning marine system it was in place the day that we got proclaimed a world heritage site yes people the world decided to turn Africa's children into zombies protein starve stunning them in the development stages so 
so they can get control over the food source that's all I can think that is happening here I have got no other solution or no other explanation why the Global Environmental Fund would build a dam wall over there to cut off the estuary function from the ocean and starve 600,000 people of protein there's no other explanation they want to get control over the protein source just a quick view of the mud banks and what life form is here on the mud banks and the hippos lying up there on the upper side of the mud banks there's some flamingos gulls, seagulls turns Avishes among the turns We worried about carbon dioxide being produced But we don't care about all the organisms That fights the carbon dioxide to turn it back in the gases into solids we just scare our children and tell them the planet is going to burn and they're going to die and the heat waves is going to kill them and then we go on a holiday and we spend all the money that should be invested in getting the earth to breathe again how pathetic are we as human beings This is the sandbank where the estuary mouth used to be. The estuary, I don't know what to call it anymore. Totally, totally silted up from ocean borne sediment that the dredger and the ski boot club used to clear out. Guys, this is the Cop Cove, the Cop Gully, whatever you want, Cop Basin, whatever you wanted to call it. This is the sediment that washed into it. Look, it's gone completely. That's the gully where the boats launch in, viewed from the estuary mouth. That's the estuary mouth in the current condition on low tide. It doesn't look much better on high tide. 